Hello, Jane. Well, Dr. Meinheimer. A uh, Frank, this is Dr. Albert Meinheimer. Don't get up. Nice to meet you. Likewise, I'm sure. But I believe we've met before at the White House dinner. He never forgets a face. He has a photographic memory. It's a terrible thing that's happened here, Lieutenant. I really do hope you find the people responsible. Well, I'm sorry I can't be more optimistic, Doctor, but we have a long road ahead of us. It's like having sex. It's a painstaking, arduous task that seems to go on and on forever, and just when you think things are going your way, nothing happens. Now, Jane, about this man you saw last night, anything can help. Yes, I, I gave the sketch artist a description. Oh, uh, Ed, that'll be all, McTeague. Why don't we get that other artist? You know, the one who never dates, lives with those two guys? Yeah, right. Sorensen! Jane, I'd like to see the rest of the Institute now, if you don't mind, Dr. Meinheimer. Yeah, why, of course. We should start with the research area. That's a good idea. It's right this way. Uh, Jane, what can you tell me about this man you saw last night? Uh, he is Caucasian. Caucasian? Yeah, you know, a white guy. With a mustache, about six foot three. An awfully big mustache. Now, what's this all about? This is our research laboratory. There are hundreds of experiments going on, all temperature controlled by the machinery just below us. Many of our scientists have spent years on their experiments and are just now making major breakthroughs. And today, we're going to join together two compounds that have never been formed together. Oh, my God! Well, thank heavens the bomb didn't damage the research area. Yes, but I still can't understand who would want to do such a thing. 